learning more about a veteran FHP trooper who was struck by a car Friday morning while conducting a traffic stop on 836. Doctors operated on him again today and he remains in critical but stable condition. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live from Jackson Memorial Hospital where he's been speaking with troopers. And Peter, what are they saying about their colleague? Well, Vanessa, those FHP troopers are hoping for the best, and a spokesman says the trooper Carlos Rosario is doing better. In fact, he is more alert. He had his third surgery this morning since being here on Friday, and he has a lot of support. Concerned FHP trooper spent a day inside the Ryder Trauma Center checking on fellow trooper, 37-year-old Carlos Rosario, a 12-year veteran and a married father of two. He was struck by a car Friday morning on the Dolphin Expressway. It prompted this striking sight Sunday. More than a dozen FHP troopers in uniform walking onto a court for Rosario's son, Joshua. He was playing in an all-star basketball game for Miami Christian High School, while his father recovered nearby at Jackson Memorial Hospital. We're all here supporting this family, supporting Carlos, and uh, just to let the family know that we're here for them and that the uh, Florida Harbor Patrol is, is, is one family and we're all together. Rosario was outside his car on the shoulder conducting a traffic stop in the westbound lanes of the Dolphin Expressway near Northwest 107th Avenue when he was struck. His mother and sister drove here from Massachusetts when they heard the news. I was actually at work and I broke down in tears. I just, I was in shock. I didn't even know what to think, but I quickly composed myself because I just, I had to, I knew I had to be strong, you know, because my mom didn't know yet and I, I was the one who was going to have to break the news to her. Rosario, whose brother is also an FHB trooper, could have been killed. Keep hearing from different, you know, people telling me like what happened that day and how it, it's such a miracle that he's even here. And again, I, you know, it's not, it wasn't a miracle, it was just, it was God. FHP says the driver who hit Rosario, 26 year old Hugo Olivares of Miami, stayed on the scene. Rosario's sister says her family is grateful for the community's response. It's really, really, really like humbled by all the response that we're getting from people, you know, all their well wishes. Just, it's amazing. Now, so far, no one has been cited in this accident. FHP says there will be a long and slow recovery for Rosario, who was working at the time a speeding enforcement detail on St. Patrick's Day. FHP says alcohol was not a factor in this crash. We're live at Jackson Memorial Hospital. Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.